The Time Twins are the reason that everything that happened after Season 7 up to Seabound exists in Ninjago. That's right. I'm saying that completely. That is my opinion. And that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be bringing in some Marvel Cinematic Universe logic. Whether it makes sense for Ninjago or not. I am going to be bringing in some stuff from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To help me support this opinion. And my own theories about how things happen because of the Time Twins. And... Welcome back to another video today is going to be a slightly more controversial one for the Ninjago fan base community because I'm not used to these type of theory videos all the time and I don't know how you guys are going to react to this one because I'm going to be bringing in Marvel Cinematic Universe logic into this. I already have done that in my own stop motion series whether that makes complete sense or not so we all know that our favorite ninja are not strangers to traveling in the past we all know that according to ninjago timeline rules if you change one thing you change everything and according to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, if you step out of time, you become a variant, you create a variant, and the Time Police, aka the Time Variance Authority, will be coming after you. And this may involve some things from Loki, so be watch out for a little bit of spoilers in this video unintentionally. So... We know that if you step off the timeline in any way, shape, or form, according to cartoon and Marvel Cinematic Universe logic, that you risk either one, making a variant that is slightly different than yourself, with slightly different events happening, even the multiverse is being integrated into the Marvel movies, and we know that because of Spider-Man No Way Home and the soon-to-be-released Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and tons of other shows that have nothing to do with Ninjago. And so, the Time Twins, you know, they did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm saying that the Avengers are not going to face any consequences for their time traveling shenanigans we're yet to see the multiverse of madness coming out next year and we're yet to see spider-man no way home and see if it has any actual repercussions of the time traveling things and you know bringing in the characters that they are bringing in and I think that we have a branching timeline going on even though the ninja still know who Crux and Acronix are. They still know that they fought snakes. They still know that they fought the Overlord. How do they know that they fought Crux? Zane mentioned Crux by name he didn't mention a Chronix, but he mentioned Crux in Seabound. And there was also two times that the Hands of Time soundtrack played in the newer Ninjago show. And that was in the end of Master of the Mountain and Seabound. And then we also have the reference to the fact that Maya and Ray were captured and forced to do the Time Twins' will. You can say everything from Season 7's ending up to Seabound is forming a second timeline, if you want to put it that way, because we know that 
Skybound was erased because of Jay's wish. And they seem to be hinting toward Nauticon's release. There were some references, but that's a totally different video once again. And I'm mainly just talking about the consequences of the Time Twins actions and whether we'll ever see them again. I think we will. I think that it would be very interesting if they landed somewhere in that future and they're just waiting for the ninja to discover them. And I'm honestly excited to see when that happens. Maybe that's going to end up being the 2022 arc. And that would be very interesting to see if they acknowledge the fact that the ninja look different. And I want to know if the ninja know that they look different. Now we do have the explanation from Sons of Garbodon by Jay that they may not know that they look different because of changes in time and stuff like that. I just want to know if they actually acknowledge it in any way and how they found out that they look slightly different because, you know, that would be fun. So, if you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see more from me, whether this theory makes sense to you or not, I think we have a little bit of Loki going on here where they changed a little bit of time or stepped out of time and stepped out of place and now they have had something get corrupted in time creating new enemies for them to fight while they still have the memories of the past and they're slightly getting reintroduced over the new Ninjago show. I hope that you have overall enjoyed this video. Remember, everything that I have talked about is my opinion. You can say whether you agree or not in the comment section below. I just wanted to bring in some Marvel Cinematic Universe logic. Whether I got that right or not, I just wanted to bring it in. So, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I think that the Time Twins definitely had a lot to do with how the ninja look and their personality slightly changed. We also have to remember that we're dealing with cartoon logic. Cartoon logic doesn't always make the best of sense and I really just don't know how to explain Bruce Banner's explanation of time travel without messing it up. So if you guys can explain the time traveling logic in the comments that would be great. I have seen Endgame. I have seen most of the Disney Plus shows, but that doesn't mean it makes, makes complete sense to me. To finish this video out, I just want to summarize what I'm trying to say is that the Time Twins going through the timeline could have made new villains appear and slightly changed how the ninja remember things. That doesn't mean that I'm correct on this because I'm not a writer of the show and you guys can make your own ideas. This is just my opinion and I thought I would apply a little bit of Marvel Cinematic Universe time logic. If you did enjoy this video and my opinion on this part of Ninjago that I have not talked about hardly ever, then please comment, like, and subscribe and you want to see more theory videos from me in the future, then check that notification bell and I 
We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.